to take journeys into the past when we can develop an archaeological spirit. And so Bible prohibits us about taking journeys into the past very clearly. God says to Lot, don't go back. She became a pillar. Jesus tells people, don't, um, uh, don't look back if you're having your hand on the plow. So the only time we go back is when to glorify Jesus, when the Holy Spirit points something out, um, or when somebody's past is currently not surfaced, but dominating their present. Because everybody's past will surface in their, in, their, uh, in their present. It will flash flashbacks. That's, that's normal. That's part of the life living on earth. Mm -hmm. But when it dominates, we're talking about like heavily dominates, then we go in and we try to disconnect things. But otherwise, because what I see in the Bible, and this is another thing that wrote, is that the scripture, I look at the Bible and I see that it, we're commanded, instructed to seek the face of Jesus more than open doors. And I wrote the whole chapter on open doors, okay? So like, I, I believe in this 100%. <laughs> Opening doors became the reason why God delivered me from pornography. And God was clear the back door and the front door. It was like a clear thing, but I did not seek open doors. Mm -hmm. When I look back at 17, I didn't know about the open doors. Mm -hmm. The only thing I knew is that I needed freedom and Jesus is the only one who has it for me. It was seven day fasting that I went after. And we, the Bible says to, to people who are hurting and suffering, always seek his face, seek his face. Mm -hmm. And in seeking his face, we find freedom because when we find open doors and we will find them because mm -hmm. everything looks like an open door. When you're, when you're hurting. Because you, you want to have something to blame this on, to shift this responsibility on. And then you find the open door. And this is what I find people who find open doors. We closed it, but the problem persists. In the presence of Jesus, um, he shuts things down. And he, when he reveals things, when he brings things to life, boom, there's a sense of encouragement. There's a sense of hope. There's a sense of victory. There's a sense of conviction. There's a sense of, that's it. It's closed. I move on. You know, I've, ever since I prayed that prayer, I never prayed the prayer again. But I didn't seek that. And stuff. So Holy Spirit revealed it. Yeah, I read it from a book, but it was in a prayer that, that seeking His face, that the Lord uh, helped to, um, to do that. Another thing that I, I draw down is that, that we, by constant seeking the demons and people, pursuing that, um, with people especially who are going through the same thing all the time, regularly, um, that we, within them, unintentionally, we can build a mindset of a victim instead of an attitude of a conqueror. Um, where um, mindset of a victim instead of a mindset of a conqueror. And after a while, we begin to treat the person as a project instead of a person God called us to love. And we don't train them for war because we are training ourselves for deliverance, ministry, not them to be a soldier. And so, um, so I just kind of, I drew a few, few of these points down and I'm praying for them myself to um, Holy Spirit is our deliverer. We're called to love. Goal is dominion, not deliverance. And we need to teach people to gaze at their future and only glance at their past. We build soldiers, we don't beat slaves. And we don't place joy when demons manifest, but the Bible says that the creation is expecting for the sons of God to manifest. So that we want people, we want their sonship, their identity to manifest. And so... Um, it's interesting when Jesus addressed the issue of lust, Jesus knew spiritual world more, more than anyone else. I mean, in deliverance, he did it in such a high level. Yet dealing with lust, he never told people to cast out a devil. He says to cut off your hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I always tell, because after usually my testimony, people, all the men line up and they said, cast out my demon out of me yeah. and stuff. And I said, which hand are we cutting? And so, and I was, and I, and I usually ask them the question, I'm like, which finger did you cut yet? And so they're like, you know, I didn't, I don't do, I'm like, so which, where did you apply self-discipline? Because I'm like, Jesus knew spiritual world more than anybody else. And yet he said that discipline has to be applied to the point of excruciating pain. I said, have you come ever to that? And so I asked him, you know, do you, pray, do you fast, do you pray? I'm like, not just because you need freedom, as a Christian duty, responsibility. And usually if I know they don't. And I said, honestly, I, I can't, one gentleman uh, in uh, Minnesota, I uh, said, I, I won't pray for you until we, we, we do obedience. What's the point of praying if you're not obeying? Mm 